Peace and blessings. Crystal Gaze here. Welcome. Now a lot of people have asked me, could they have the gift? How would they know if they have the gift? And what should they do if indeed they do have the gift? And by the gift, I mean communicating with people who have passed over, people who have died, dead people. And it is a tricky question because I myself for years did not realize that I had the gift. I mean, it wasn't something I never thought about before. And, and, and it started with me seeing little flashes of color just in the corner of my eye. And it would actually make me jump. It would be a little flash of silver or a little flash of blue. And, uh, and it would often happen when I was driving. And, uh, and I'd think, oh, 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 there's an ambulance and oh, there's a police car. And on many occasions I would just pull over and then nothing. Just a lot of angry motorists behind me. I put it down to watching an eclipse when I was a young girl without wearing protective eyewear. Then I started hearing voices. Like people were talking to me. But there'd be nobody there, just this chattering away. And I think, oh no, I've got a chemical imbalance. I, I, I might be mentally ill, uh, schizophrenia. I thought, should I have a brain scan there? Uh, I'll have to go down one of those long tubes and I'm claustrophobic. But fortunately, I was, uh, I was saved by another medium who spotted what was going on. And although that is another story, suffice it to say that it involved the two of us being in the same tube carriage late at night with a spirit who had a penchant for sea shanties. <laughs> so, um, the answer to all of this is that it can be very confusing. It can. And, uh, and if, you, uh, if you are hearing voices, it could well be that you have a mental problem, so get yourself checked over. Um, my chiropodist, um, she uh, thought she was communicating with spirits and um, she explored it for a while. And now she's in Rampton. So I, I think what I'm saying is, is be open. Yes, yes, be open and explore everything. But if you do think that what is going on is otherworldly, then the best advice I can give to you is seek help. Don't try and do this on your own. Oh no. So where should you go for help? Well, uh, perhaps contact your local spiritualist church. Yes, yes. Oh, and there'll be one. Oh yes, there'll be one because they're all over the place. You'd be surprised. Um, because most spiritualist churches, they hold mediumship classes. Yes, uh, they do uh, beginners, intermediate and advanced. So for instance, in the beginners class, you'd, uh, you'd be uh, developing your opening techniques and, um, and uh, protection, um, because protection is very important. Because the spirits, they can, uh, how shall I say this, they, they can affect you. Yes, they can. They can, uh, they can make you feel quite giddy. They can uh, make you behave in strange ways and, uh, and, and some can have a toxic effect if you don't take the correct precautions. Because um, this isn't something to dabble in. This is something you have to take very, very seriously because you don't know who you'd be making contact with. Which is, of course, why you do need to, um, to protect yourself. And, and there are various forms of protection that you can use. Um, there's crystals, there's, uh, there's flower remedies, there's um, sacred circles. Um, but for me, it's a golden shower. I close my eyes. I think it's always best if you close your eyes. And I feel the warmth. Being bathed in a golden shower of light. I visualise protective light all around me, drenching myself, soaking myself, a protective sheath of golden light. But as I say, it's up to you to find your own tool, your own form of protection. So that's what you do in your beginners. And then in the intermediate, you're, uh, you're learning how to, uh, oh, channel starting to learn to channel the spirits and, uh, and also develop an understanding of some of the symbols you receive because uh, <laughs> some of the, uh, some, uh, some spirits can be quite cryptic, um, which is why I think uh, some mediums are accused of speaking an absolute load of rubbish. Uh, some. Uh, and then in the advanced class, well, then, yes. I think we're gonna leave that for another day. We are. So, 
there we are. Be open, protect yourself, and if in doubt, seek medical help. Peace and blessings, love and light from Crystal Gaze.